Hey, what's up? It's your girl Drea. This is the Owl's Intuition. <laughs> if you're new here, hit that subscribe down below and the little bell so you get notified each and every time I post new content. Stay on the lookout for messages about my. I'm probably gonna post a, a video about my um, free reading giveaway. Um. I want to make it easy so I can get it across all platforms and stuff like that, which is why I'm going to do more than one free reading giveaway. It's probably going to be like five winners. Yeah. I think like five winners. Five winners is cool, right? Five is good. We'll see. You know, depending on how many people enter, I might, might put more. But I think five is a pretty good pretty good. It gives you guys a good amount of chance to get a free reading, okay? Why not? Like, if it's free, it's for me, okay? I just want to say thank you for anyone who has donated anything, donated any decks, donated money, anyone who has booked a reading with me, and thank you to whoever will in the future, okay? <laughs> so we are talking about what are people noticing about you? This is going to be on all levels, like uh, your demeanor, your looks, the way you've been treating people, all of that. And it's going to be from multiple people. It could be friends, family, co-workers, lovers. It's just whatever comes out. Okay, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. As always, not messages, not messages, not every message is meant for you. So, you know the deal. You know the deal. So, three piles today. We have pile number one, which is the pastel journey tarot deck we have pound number two which is the under the sea tarot deck and then we have pound number three the dream keepers tarot you can pick more than one as always but um thank you thank you thank you guys for watching i can't wait to see what happens with this free reading giveaway for this month get excited baby get excited <laughs> i don't know why i'm so hyped but anyway i'll see you on the pile that you picked have an amazing day night or whatever back. Hey, what's up, pal one? It's your girl, Drizzy Dre. Dre, 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 Dre. I'm going to burn this last bit of incense before I grab a new stick. Just to clear out any other energies from any readings I did earlier. So, pal one, we are talking about what are people noticing about you? Whether that's your family, your friends, your kids, your parents, I don't care who it is. Anyone who is in your energy or has been in your energy, we're going to see what are they noticing about you right now. Okay, but first, before we begin, as always, you know, hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit the bell so you get notified every time that I post. If it resonates, like comment subscribe book a personal that information is in my description box you can email me or message me on my instagram at the owls intuition stay tuned we got a free reading giveaway well free reading giveaways coming up for the month of may i will provide details on that shortly bear with me <laughs> so let's get your current energy first and then we'll dive into what are people noticing about you right now Current energy. Where did that go? Back in the deck. Okay. <laughs> um, very interesting. Let's see. First around the bottom of the deck. First around. First of all, I am always co-creating with the universe. Oh, you're in a very kind of magician energy, you know, kind of co-creating, taking inspired action, doing what you need to do for yourself. So that you can start to manifest better. You know? You're not expecting the worst. You're expecting the best. The only approval I need is myself. It seems that you have been letting go of um, people pleasing. Seeking outside validation. You've probably been going hermit. And, um, you know, doing things that people... <sighs> it's not that they don't want you to do it. It's just you've been putting yourself first a lot. And it's kind of like, you know... You're like, okay, I don't care anymore. Like, I need to do this for me. Like, I'm trying to create what I gotta create. So maybe you've been putting more times into more time into yourself, into your career, or into your endeavors instead of like, you know, hanging out with friends or like, you know, just anything that you used to do before. Okay, 
my soul is infinite and divine yeah you're really tapping into your divine purpose right now you could be creating things that are your divine purpose or just tapping into your soul i'm getting empress energy too i'm feeling like you're really balanced in your energies like you're allowing things to flow and it says i am always provided for yeah you're you know everything's gonna work out like you put in the energy that you need to do and then you let go and let god and then the divine steps in because you know you're one with the divine and it says my energy is the is my greatest currency yeah so your energy like your energy is very very potent very high vibrational and it's very easy to steal um so make sure you're using protection but um <laughs> lol make sure you keep up with your protection not using your protection but yeah i guess use protection too that is relevant because you know you know you can't be you can't be too careful out here in these streets okay but um you know i said you can't be out too careful out here in these streets if you didn't understand because you know i'd be talking my mom boo, you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyway but yeah your energy like a lot of people want it right now and um you're not really caring so <laughs> people are getting mad at your boundaries and don't take that personally okay Everything is going to work out. You're always going to be provided for. And um, people who are going to accept you will be coming into your life. So if that matches up or resonates in any way, shape, or form, and even if it doesn't, let's giggity giggity go. <laughs> let's get it popping. So, yeah. This is Solitude. This is the Hermit in this deck. But let's see. I feel like a lucky time is ahead for you lucky time because you're putting your energy back into yourself people probably want to give you gifts or figure out any way to get back in your energy get back on your good side and you're like out here <laughs> look solo dolo solar creation but let's see source what are people what are people noticing about pile one what are people noticing about pile one what are people noticing about pile one please Yes. It all makes sense. One more. Yeah. People are noticing. Oh, oh, I didn't know that there was another card right there. All right, so we have silence. You might be like just not talking to people. Like I said, hermit mode. We have legacy. Bliss. We have nurture, which is the empress in this deck. We have change. Which gives me Scorpio vibes. And then we have Glam. You're going through a glow up. People, okay. Let's start from the beginning. Let me not get all, I'm like, yeah. I'm like so ready. Calm down. Because I'd be all over the place. And I want to make sure I get clear messages for you guys, please. All right, so you've been kind of silent. You've been, you know, maybe spending more time by yourself. We have uh, pay attention on the bottom of the deck. You've gone through certain things. And now it's like you're, uh, you're like a deer, okay? <laughs> you're like it's not that you're easily startled but it's like red flags like <laughs> you have a red flag detector like nothing ever seen before it's immaculate okay you also have a bullshit detector too people are noticing that you're seeing right through them seeing right through their red flags because you're trusting your intuition more you can't like people can't make you question yourself anymore and that's what they're noticing maybe before you used to be like oh yeah you're right or like oh wow like you know and now it's like no no we can agree to disagree it's like you're not conforming because if you know something like this oh you have an open mind still don't get me wrong but it's like really like you're not manipulated anymore at all red flags are going off and it's like you're very 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 protective of your energy right now people are noticing that you're very protective of your energy and if you have children people are noticing how protective you are of your children okay but you're very like focusing on your peace of mind maybe you've been meditating more people are noticing also that um maybe if you so for some of you guys um you didn't wear your hair natural for a little while and stuff like that maybe you always relaxed it or always straightened it and maybe now you're trying to wear your hair out more natural or if not then you're trying new hairstyles people are noticing something about your hair you either dyed it like blonde for some of you or um you know 
purple, green, blue, yellow, which is blonde. Okay, let me calm down. <laughs> but neon yellow, like some people have neon yellow, red. Um, yeah, you've done something to your hair and people are noticing it. They like it. Uh, whether you straightened it, curled it, or you are wearing your hair natural, okay? Um, you're more, you're spending more time in nature and you're nurturing yourself. Um, some of you guys got some new jewelry or, um, it's gonna be jewelry, but also piercings because I'm noticing her septum, right? Is that her septum? Yeah, she got her septum pierced. So some of you guys got some new piercings. It doesn't have to be your septum, obviously, but, you know, it's not that obvious because sometimes people don't know. It's any piercing. <sighs> let me shake and everything. Calm down. All right, let me calm down now. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, people are noticing that, um, you know, some of you guys have been toking a little bit more, um, you know, because you've been, like, stressed or, you know, maybe you're just trying to, you know, maybe it's just, like, this habit or addiction that you guys have. For some of you, don't take it if it's not for you. You'll know if you've been puffing, obviously. <laughs> Uh, so people are noticing that you're listening a lot more. You're speaking less, but listening more. Like, you're way more aware of what people are saying. You're not responding to everything. You're responding to what you feel called to. People are noticing that you are way more abundant, okay? It's like you're receiving more. Maybe before you didn't, like, allow people to give to you. Or you'd be like, no, I'm good. I don't need help. And now it's like you're asking for help more. Or you're just, like, more open to receiving help. And just, like, you're really an abundant kind of... You, they might not know you might not be in an abundant energy but I feel like you know you're about to either step into a new abundant energy or like you can feel it like you know but people feel it too like they can feel when like someone's about to receive success because it's like you're creating a legacy and you're investing into something and people are noticing that you're like trying to build something up you're trying to create a stable foundation you're trying to build a legacy you are some of you guys they're noticing that you might be doing a little bit more magic if you do magic only take it if you do. If you don't, then you know, then that's just maybe you've been like speaking kinder to your kinder to yourself, being more um, vocal about the dreams and goals that you want. Okay, talking about manifestation more, talking about your spirituality more, talking about you know what you believe in. Um, but you're definitely shining. People are noticing that you're shining. You're being more honest. Um, you know, and it's like you're not like hiding behind. Or hiding the truth behind, like, some type of, like, you know... It's, it's like, maybe before you, you would, you would... <sighs> Slow down. Before you used to be the type of person who didn't want to hurt people's feelings. So it's not lying, but you would... You just wouldn't tell the truth. And it, it's not... It is lying, but it isn't lying. It's like, you know, a white lie. Or it was like you meant well, like... You know, say somebody had a booger, instead of telling them that they had a booger on their face, you wouldn't, even though the the right thing to do is to tell them, yes, it's embarrassing, but also, like, you always hear them say, like, oh my god, I've been walking around, nobody told me? Nobody told me this? Like, I'd rather somebody tell me I had a fucking booger hanging out my nose instead of letting me walk around looking foolish, you know? But now, I feel like you're way more vocal and you're telling people things and people are like, huh, okay. I see you, pal one. Getting honest. Getting open. Putting yourself out there, too. You're shining, okay? There may be some talents or, or some, some unexpected things that you're putting out there. Or maybe you're just more honest about things. Like, maybe you never used to tell people you'd smoke. Or maybe you never tell people that you'd drink or whatever it is, you know? And now you're telling people, like, oh, yeah, I, I tripped on acid. I take shrooms. I microdose or whatever it is. That's for some of you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, people are noticing that you are changing and people are noticing that you're leaving behind people and people are noticing that some people are not happy about this change. People are not happy about, they're giving you the side eye. People are noticing that you are getting the side eye from people. Um, could be due to jealousy because you are celebrating yourself more, you're loving yourself more, especially with this empress, you're like putting yourself, you're nurturing yourself more, and um, with this glam, it's giving me, you know, maybe you're going on dates more, or maybe you're just dressing up more, and you're doing, you're wearing more jewelry, or putting new shoes on, or, you know, wearing new outfits, because this is for my fellas too, it doesn't have to be just males, okay, but I feel like, you know, 
you're going through some type of glow up. Maybe you're trying new makeup styles, have a new lip stain, or like people are noticing you're trying new things and you're seeing what works. Okay, whether it's again like new tattoos and piercings too. Some of you guys got new tattoos and piercings. But you're definitely like oozing this glamorous energy, which is kind of making people get upset. Like they're seeing you change and become better. And, um, you know, you're finding your peace and focusing on your peace, but you getting that and, and focusing on your peace and, you know, becoming your true authentic self is indeed triggering people. And people are noticing it. Like, you're making people upset. Like, people could be, like, there could be groups of people and someone's talking about, oh my god, did you see Pow One? They're out here doing the damn thing and they're looking good too. And then somebody else is in the background either trying to hate on you or trying to, um... <laughs> kind of take the energy off of you because you're shining so bright like these people are mad like why are is everyone talking about pow one pow one is literally like ghosting us pow one is literally not with us right now i'm here and y'all ain't talking about me i'm so sorry <laughs> but like yeah you don't give a shit about that shit which is good but still like that's what i'm getting but let's see what are people noticing about pow one Oh, baby. Yeah, you're very secretive right now. You ain't you ain't putting nothing out. You are unless it's like your work and stuff, but I feel like you ain't telling people. Like let's say cuz it makes me think about when I moved to Cali. Like I told like a couple people, but like I I don't know. I don't like to say goodbye and stuff like that. I'd rather just dip. I know that's one of my toxic traits. Uh, red flag. Um, I, But I said, like, it's not like, you know, I didn't say bye. But I did say, like, goodbye to, like, my close-knit friends. But I didn't tell, like, the whole world. I didn't, like, broadcast it on every social media. I just popped up. And then I started posting from, from Galley. And then people were like, what? You know, I posted the plane. <laughs> that's how you knew I was going somewhere. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you. I don't know. That's just the kind of vibe I'm getting from y'all. And I can relate. Strategy. Alright, hold on. Let me get all the cards out first. That's way too much. You want me to take them all? Alright. They said it. I did it. Ancestors. I feel like the people who are spiritual, <laughs> they know. I know. They know. With this polar bear. Oh my god, if you follow me on TikTok, you'll know exactly what the polar bear is about. LOL. Not me saying LOL. <laughs> All right, stop. Stop it. Get it together. All right. So we have creation, snake, uh, fear, which is um, hyena. <laughs> Y'all have a funny laugh. People notice your laugh. Five, five, five. Whew. Yeah, you might be laughing more, joking more. You know, you might be a little uh, less um, rigid. Okay, but um, people are noticing that some people are getting karma for messing with you and it's from your ancestors. Your ancestors are coming through like, yeah, we did that. I know you didn't want me to. Some of y'all did. Okay, it's about intentions, you know. <laughs> I don't like to, I allow them to do their karma on their own will. Okay, I am not sending out any karma. I let the universe and God handle that shit. Handle that shit. I ain't got time for that. I ain't trying to play ping pong with some toxic ass energy. I'm gonna close it out, bitch. That's it. And that's what you guys did. But you're, there's definitely something that you have always longed to do, right? And you've never had the resources, right? But it's about to be a miracle, okay? Because this is a tree in the desert, okay? And the snake, cobra, cobra kai is relevant. Maybe y'all watched that. But Cobra Kai is actually a really good show, and I highly recommend it. Um, I felt like when I watched that show, it was like matching up with my life and shit like that. Or there were so many lessons in that show. So, yeah, if you're looking for a new show that you never watched before, Cobra Kai on Netflix. And there's mad seasons, okay, if you're a binger or whatever. <laughs> 
Anyway, um, people are noticing that you are leaving a period of fear and starting to focus on lighter issues. Again, with this happiness, it's like you're so much more strategic in regards to how you live, okay? You don't allow toxicity in your life anymore, okay? You don't allow negativity. You freed yourself from a lot of darkness and now you're heading towards the light. Again, something about your hair. But I feel like you're so protected right now and you are also protecting yourself with this links over here it's like <laughs> bobcat made me think of a bobcat cat because bobcats and lynxes they look alike but they're different right so maybe there were certain people who you thought were similar to you and now secrets are going to be revealed or have been revealed and people are noticing now that like you know you are seeing through people's masks and you are starting to be a lot more secretive you ain't telling people okay maybe when you used to talk about your goals and dreams openly and now you're like kind of moving in silence creating it and then putting it out there like you're more strategic okay you're way more strategic and you're not trying we have a mirror number two I'm also getting that you guys, um, people are noticing that you're mirroring people. If people are kind to you, you are, because this is like a mirror too, but it's a flipped mirror, okay? People are noticing that, like, if people are kind to you, I'll be cool, you know? I'll, I'll be like this dolphin, even though dolphin ha dolphins are, you know, they ain't all happy-go-lucky. They out here, you know, doing some, some negative shit, but that is with everything. There's always light and dark in every situation, so why people like what it's gonna you can expect this with everybody and everything because there's nothing perfect okay the circle of life lion king <laughs> so i mean you guys like my animal might like animals a lot <clears throat> maybe some of you guys got a new pet especially because your oracle car your oracle deck is um animal the divine animals oracle deck maybe you guys went to the zoo or you like to go to the zoo some of you guys could have posted pictures of new animals or animals or going to the zoo that's random i know but maybe some of y'all did or maybe you saw an animal like a deer or a fox or a lynx or a horse you know snake it doesn't matter dolphins not a polar bear you'd be dead <laughs> unless you're in a car uh because polar bears they like to eat people Okay, you know bears sometimes they get scared. They're more scared of you than they than you are of them. No, a polar bear will go hunt you and will kill you because you are their flavor of the lifetime. Not the week, <laughs> the lifetime. Anyway, but yeah, so let's continue. People are noticing that you're freeing yourself from, you know, any toxic Anything that was restricting you. I feel like there was either a tower moment that you went through. You got upset, but you ended up protecting your energy instead. And, um... Some falsities were brought to, to light for you, you know? I feel like you, you saw people... Saw through people's masks. You freed yourself. You know, you spent some time. You cried it out. You might have gone through some emotions. People are noticing. Maybe, um... <clears throat> You could be singing more. People are noticing maybe you're humming more. You're a lot more happy or a lot more light. Okay. You're still sneaky though. Because with this fox, like that's like sneaky energy for me, you know. Um, and it's not like you're in a malicious way. It's just like, again, strategic. You're very strategic about your moves. You're not putting all your, your, uh, your info and stuff out there. You're like, ah, uh, you know. I'm not going to talk about this until it's done. Then I'll put it out there for the world to see, okay? But I ain't telling nobody because ain't nobody evil on my shit. You heard? <laughs> and I respect that. <clears throat> so, let's move on and get some tarot. Tarot. What are people noticing? About pile one right now seven of pentacles ten of wands and the knight of cups <clears throat> what are people noticing about pile one nine of cups Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Pentacles? I saw the Ten of Pentacles. Check 
justice. <clears throat> Ten of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Yep. I knew I saw ya. And then the Knight of Cups. High Priestess. The Nine of Cups. Oh. Some of you guys could be traveling or have traveled on like a dream vacation or some type of dream trip. <clears throat> Seven of Wands. That's too much. Can I just get one, please? Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands about? What are people noticing about Pile One, please? We got the chariot and the six of swords was uh, clarifying the nine of cups. <clears throat> so, bottom of the deck is the four of cups and we have the two of cups. It seems like you're trying to go with the flow more, but also it's like you're kind of bored or there's some type of opportunity that you're not seeing right now, especially with this middle energy. It's making me think that there's some love opportunities or people trying to give you their cup of love that you are not seeing right now. You will be seeing it soon, but it's just like you have too much going on, too much on your plate. But people are noticing that you are very invested in something that is like, you know, about to give back to you, okay? The scale will be returned. All the energy that you're putting into it's going to give you a very good outcome. I'm feeling that people feel like you're going to be successful and you're going to get your Ten of Pentacles, especially since we have it here. But it's also, there's some burden. <clears throat> it's either your burden. Yeah, look at the dogs. Some of y'all got pets or they notice that you have pets. Or you're spending more time with your pets or taking more pictures or posting your pets more. But, um, yeah, people are noticing you're trying to rebalance yourself after some time of, like, discontentment. And, uh, you know, you were just kind of, like, bored and also burdened. Maybe there was a lot going on with family. There could have been a loss in your family. Just a lot, um, a lot to handle in regards to your family. Um, and that people are noticing that, you know, <clears throat> that was happening and that was, it was kind of rough. But now, because of all those distractions and stuff like that, all the energies that were carrying you away from, you know, others, uh... You're going to move to calmer waters. People are noticing that you're moving towards your wishes. You're investing more towards your wishes. And people are receiving karma for anyone who has betrayed you. But, like, I feel like your load is lightening in regards to, you know, this Ten of Wands energy. I feel like, you know, whew, it was heavy. And um, it caused a lot of delays and a lot of negative mindsets. And um, you even may have resented, um, you know, you might have took a detox or took a just um time off of social media you went ghosts because of this hard time and then you stopped posting so people again secretive couldn't see you you know you were working through your stuff by yourself and now people are seeing they're noticing that you're he heading towards your wishes and um you're healing and things are calming down for you and you're fighting for your goals you're f taking action towards the things that you want and you're setting boundaries against the people who you feel are going to block you from that. You know, you're just really trying to balance and improve your mind, body, and soul in all levels. And people are noticing how much energy that you're putting back into yourself after a time of, you know, you putting everybody else first. Or a lot of people asking from a, for a lot for from you. And, you know, I also feel like you were impatient. Like, you were pretty impatient in regards to, like, getting results. Some people notice that, but I feel like that's only for the people that you told. Okay? If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. But people are noticing that you, like, some of y'all are traveling. <clears throat> or, um, traveling could be coming up in the future. Maybe that's a message that, um, Source wants you to know that. Get ready, baby. You gonna be traveling. Get your passport. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, people are noticing that you have boundaries up against people. And, um, if it's not helping you to move forward, you're leaving it behind. You're not trying to allow any chaos in your life and if it is causing you chaos, you're going to side-eye. Like, because the way she's looking, she's looking over there like... Side-eye. Bombastic. And then this person, this is you, again. You know, you might look soft and cuddly, but you're like... 1F around. 
Every time I see this, it's like, going for ground, we'll find out, baby. So, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Whatever you're going through, it's, it's ending. <clears throat> and a lot of um, better things are going to be coming in the future. You know, you might want to watch How Is My Life Improving. That is a reading I got out. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night, you know, whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. It's part two. It's your girl, Drizzy Dre. How are you doing? <laughs> if you're new here, hit that subscribe down below and the little bell so you can notify her time. Er, er time I post. If it resonates, you can like, you can comment, you can subscribe. Let me know. Book a reading if you feel called to as well. We are going to be talking about what are people noticing about you, but first we're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile, if it resonates. Even if it doesn't, you, know, you can still watch and see if there's messages for you. Okay? Pile 2 is current energy. Pile 2 is current energy. Bottom of the deck. It says, I feel fear and do it anyway. All right, so it seems like, oh, free reading giveaways. Stay aware, stay on the lookout, okay? You are moving out of a time of fear, stagnancy. You were stuck. You weren't taking actions towards what you wanted. It was kind of like, you know, you were in survival mode. You were going through it, okay? And now it's like you are moving towards stepping out of your comfort zone and doing things that are for your highest and best good regardless of whatever the circumstances were that were holding you back before previously it says i am allowed to say no you're setting boundaries you're setting brown boundaries and you're allowing yourself to you know give back to yourself you're allowing yourself to heal you're allowing yourself to move out of this fight or flight mode that you've been in. And you're allowing yourself to put more time towards the things that you never felt you could do before because of fear or because of others blocking you or because of the overwhelming burdens on your back. You've like, there was a lot of pressure on you, a lot of pressure. And I feel like you're you're like, you know what? No, that's not what I want anymore, you know? I feel like there was some type of big change or some choice that you made that it's like people are kind of like shook, but you were like, you know what? I feel scared, you know? I don't know how this is going to end up, but I know that this no longer aligns with me and I'm allowed to choose myself, if that makes sense, you know? You know what I'm saying? And it says, I breathe in love and exhale fear. There's literally two things about fear. So fear was a big, I don't know what was going on, but you were hella anxious. You were going through a lot. Your body was probably sore, tense. You probably were having trouble sleeping, anxiety, um, just a lot. A lot of emotions too, I'm getting. Tears, anger, all the night, the whole nine yards. It says, my body allows me to thrive. So I also feel like, you know, maybe you suffered from body dysmorphia or you're just trying to work through and um, take better care of your body. You could be into sports or like trying to figure out new ways to get your body moving or working out. I align everything I need in life by simply being me. So you're trying to become more authentic. You're trying to, you know, figure out who you truly are and you're expressing that, okay? You're trying to live your best life by being who you are meant to be. You're no longer allowing people to make you fearful of judgment, okay? Because maybe you were judged before. Maybe you were bullied before. Maybe a lot of people talked a lot of shit to you and um, made you feel bad for being who you were. And now it's like you're no longer allowing that. You're telling anyone who is going to do that, no, you're learning to love yourself and remove fear and you know align with love and align with people places and things that are meant for you that you truly authentically love that allow you to become better every day so if that resonates this is the pal for you and we're gonna tap in pal two what are people noticing about you pal two
let's check it out. Pile two, baby. What are people noticing about pile two? Ooh, that sounded like a lot. Alright, bottom of the deck is joy and light. Okay, actually, I'm going to keep that right here. We have channel, animal energy. We have solo magic. So it's either some of you guys are coming out of hermit and some of you guys are stepping into hermit. We have offering. We have glam. Some of you guys could have watched pile one. We have key. And we have sex magic. Alright, so if you're in a relationship, some of you guys may have been, um, uh, may either be leaving this relationship, or, um, some of you guys are getting out of single and, um, you know, being out there and maybe ready to mingle, okay? Take it as it resonates, because some of you guys are single and some of you guys are, um... In a relationship but overall people are noticing that you are coming out of a tough time and you're becoming more happy okay you might be leaving behind a lot of things that you used to do and I feel like also people are noticing that you're an open channel animals are all like more drawn to you some of you guys could um, have new pets like I said in the other pile but it's like big emphasis on you just Trusting your instincts, okay? Trusting your intuition. People are noticing that you're super psychic. People are noticing that you are good on your own and you either left people or like you're trying to balance and figure out how to be good in your own energy, you know? And also you could be creating something and some of you guys could be um, trying to sober up as well. Or quit drinking, quit smoking, quit some type of addiction that you have. Whether it was um, sex or um, drugs, alcohol, social media, addiction to end, like people. Doesn't matter. Masturbation, porn. Does There's some type of thing that you know that you did. And um, I feel like you're, you're offing that. You're deading that. That's no longer aligned with you anymore and I feel like you're focusing more on like how can I create my abundance how can I rebalance myself and that's what people are noticing they're also noticing that you're you know a lot more generous you could be um talking more to people some of you guys could uh, be going through a physical glow up looking better because you're more happy after this kind of tough time people notice you went through a tough time and you know it was either for a couple months even like a couple days or maybe you just got out of it after like a year it's been going on for a little bit and um for some of you less than none less than others excuse me but um, this was like a test for your self-love and, um, you know, just like kind of like something that you had to work through as a lesson, I guess you can say. But I feel like you came out of that stronger. You came out of it better. You look better. And I feel like you unlocked certain abilities that you didn't know you had. And a lot of people are talking about your psychic abilities. I don't know if you're very open about your abilities or very open about your um, your spirituality. But people are very, they're noticing like how much it is relevant or how much it matches or how true it is you know maybe before they didn't pay attention but now they're like oh i'm paying attention you're also um paying attention to red flags and you're holding people accountable you're no longer allowing anybody to gaslight you or make you feel any type of way if they're trying to manipulate you you're very aware you're like boom 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 red flag i don't need this type of energy in my life that's not what i want and you're moving past it some of you guys could be doing ancestor work um or magic and people are um, aware of that but obviously only take that if you've been telling people because again this is what people are noticing about you but i'm get big emphasis on you guys being star seeds but also some of you guys have been moving away from um something that wasn't making you happy okay but some of you guys could be moving or you're talking about wanting to move and people are noticing that and um people are noticing that you know you're trying to change and forgive and move on from this chaotic process that was like holding you back 
and making you like feel unwanted or feel like unworthy. People are noticing that you're trying to choose self-love and choose yourself. But let's get some more. Let's get some more. Let's dive into the oracles. The oracles. Five of cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you definitely came from an unlucky time period. And people are noticing that your, your luck is turning, okay? But you definitely went through some shit and a lot of people knew about it. Or they could feel it in your energy because you wasn't bubbly. You wasn't, um... You know, high vibrational like you usually are. You kind of just like, you know, we're surviving. Like I said in the beginning, we have the two of cups in reverse. Some of you guys have gone through a breakup or an ending of a connection. Some type of, we'll get more into that. But like, let's see, what, what are people noticing about pile two? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you let go of something. Connection. Connections. And you're healing. You're focusing on healing. That's why you're happier now. Because you're healing. Chariot. Yeah, you're, you're making moves towards, you know, better times and more time to yourself. We got the Chariot and... Um, Hermit, which is Cancer and Virgo. What's this Two of Cups about? The Empress! Yeah, you're choosing yourself. You know what you deserve, and you know, like, how you were getting treated. It wasn't fair, and you were struggling with this decision, okay? But I feel like whatever decision you made, even if it was to cut somebody off, okay? For whatever reason it was, some of you guys, it was because of their negativity, their mindset. Some of you guys, they were a player. And, um, you know, they were pouring, you know, you were pouring into them, but they wasn't filling your cup up. And it was just making you unhappy, okay? And then some of you guys, you left behind friends, you know? Or maybe some of you guys are focusing on friends more because you want to manifest new opportunities, okay? You no longer want to be unhappy and burdened anymore or left out in the cold, you know? What's this um, Four of Pentacles about? Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're letting go. You hit rock bottom. You didn't know what to do. And you finally realized, like, I can't keep investing in this situation okay it's just gonna block me from manifesting new opportunities devil in reverse you're letting go of whatever this toxic situation was and i feel like you know it 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 was it's a person or people or or you know yeah people who just didn't treat you the way that you were meant to be treated or people who didn't believe in your goals and your dreams people who put you down you're like um and i want to get time for that <laughs> Five of Cups, what's this about? People are noticing that you're getting honest about your healing. You're talking about your feelings more, okay? Maybe you used to be like, oh, I can't, especially if you were a male, I can't talk about my feelings. That's not how the world works, okay? But now you're shocking people because you're no longer constricted. You're talking about certain things, maybe with your friends, even family. Family might not be as much for a lot of you but like for some of you it's family that you're talking to but um i feel like you're more vocal about like your emotions or just like you had to like for some of the people who are close to you they see that you were honest like with yourself and your mourning and going through like you know the sadness because somebody may have lied to you in the past and uh could have to do with love yeah six of cups Someone who's a soulmate, someone you feel highly connected to, okay? And um, this is something that you had to work through, okay? Because it's a mindset, a mindset that comes when you're around this person. This situation came around because it was here to, uh, this is random, it's not what people are noticing. This is something that needs to come out for whoever this message is for. But the reason that you're like going through this and why it was so hard for you to make the decision because there is a soul connection, but there was a lesson behind this, okay? Not all soulmates and um, connections are meant to be like forever. They come in so that you can like learn.
You know, this was about self-worth. This was about, about embodying your empress and emperor energy, embodying, you know, the treatment. How am I, how, <laughs> sit on that throne, baby. You the king, you the queen. You know, you're not a prize, like you're the prize, but you're not like one to be possessed. You're not one to be put down. You're one to be appreciated, loved, catered to. You know, I feel like you're the type of person that, like, if somebody spoils you, you're going to spoil them too, you know? And I feel like, you know, you gave so much to certain people, but it wasn't reciprocated. So you're no longer doing that anymore. What's this chariot? I feel like you're running away now from something that you had trouble walking away from and whatever it was it was this toxic thing you felt trapped you felt like um if you did walk away from this situation huh, either the people would never stop bothering you they would stalk you you could have been scared that someone would be stalking you or just that it would be an unfavorable matter because there would be fights a lot of confusion and etc etc you didn't see that you had other options and you know that you not taking action to release these burdens is you blocking your blessings and uh you know you finally got honest with yourself or vulnerable with some people or somebody maybe there's a third party for some of you guys and that's why this relationship had to end maybe there was this person was a player or cheating on you and um yeah because i have the queen of wands excuse me in reverse and that makes me think of like you know jealous kind of energy and that could be the other woman. <laughs> but yeah, you took action and you were like, you know what? I can't stop. I can't keep fighting this. I have to walk away. And you know, she, and the thing is, every time I see this card, because she is happy, she got this. She's like, okay, I'm good. I'm taking this chariot. But him, this could be the person or people that you're leaving behind, stressed the hell out. They are stressed the hell out. But it's a new dawn. It's a new day. And it's your day. Okay? And you deserve this. So please. Don't fall back. Okay? Don't fall back because you're not meant to. What's this hermit? Yeah. You're you're calling back your light, calling back your love. You're no longer giving out love to people who don't reciprocate that energy, okay? You're like, mm, no, I know what I want and I'm not trying to be around any energy vampires or you know anyone who's trying to steal my abundance my love my ideas or anyone who doesn't treat me the way I'm, I'm meant to be treated and people are noticing that you are literally like withdrawing yourself okay maybe you used to be really really bubbly and you're still bubbly but you're not giving everyone that attention like maybe you're the person who used to say hi to everybody all the time like at school or at work or even on the streets and now it's like you're kind of just minding your own business you're saying hi to the the people who reach out to you but it's like you know if these people ain't like you know you're not going out of your way anymore all right to say hi to that grumpy old man who never used to be who would be like hey and now he's like oh she's not even saying hi to me anymore she i i was like looking forward to that every day and now she doesn't say hi or he you know whoever but at the end of the day it's like every time this person said hi to you and was sending you love and kindness yeah it made your day but you would be like hi and what does that really give them it wasn't reciprocated so obviously sooner or later the person's gonna be like it's making me think of this movie i just watched this guy was doing the same routine because he was on house arrest and he would order uber it was not uber eats but it was like an uber eats kind of vibe and the guy would put like the food in the perfect spot and he would click no tip right and then the guy came again same spot no tip and then the guy came again and he put the food in a different spot further away mind you this guy's on house arrest and he was like what the fuck but my guy like the in the beginning the person was waving to you like and being nice to you and you didn't give them a tip you was just not reciprocating the same energy this person was going to bring your food to a specific spot and you're over here just like acting like a straight up asshole so hello i didn't even get the oracle cards let's get into your oracle cards what are people noticing about you i jumped right into the tarot for you guys what are people noticing about pile two what are people noticing about pile two okay 
What do we got? What do we got? What are people noticing about pile two? All right, we have surrender to the divine. Yeah, you're in a moment of surrender. You're like kind of just trying to go with the flow. Like I said earlier, we have Leo, we have Pisces, we have Cancer. <laughs> We had Virgo earlier. But let's clarify, shall we? What's this? Don't let your pride get in the way. People are noticing you're becoming more confident. Okay? And it's like before you didn't see yourself like having as much options as you have now. You kind of thought like, oh, I don't think that's possible. And now it's like you're becoming more courageous and you're like, okay, you know what? I have a lot of different talents. I need to let go of these thoughts. And people are noticing that you're let, letting go of whatever toxic things that you used to say about yourself. Maybe you used to talk a lot of shit to yourself or say negative things. And now you're like, hmm, you talk better about yourself. What is this energy gaining momentum? Okay, we got the moon. More Pisces energy and Cancer energy. So I feel like, you know, you're fighting your fears and you're focusing on com being complete, whole and complete by yourself. So if you feel like you've been struggling or you haven't made that jump yet to leave whoever that person was, you know, keep in mind, if you don't make that jump, then a tower moment is going to happen. I speak from experience. This, this does happen. What is this? Meditate and contemplate. That's three cards, but I'll take it. We have the Hermit going within. We have the Chariot again and the Eight of Cups. Okay. So yeah, if you're still struggling to walk away and go Hermit and move away from whatever those energies are, you know, just be patient with yourself. You're going to start to realize how unhappy it makes you. You're going to start to realize how unaligned it is with you. And you're going to want peace and want, like, your dreams to come true. And you're going to release these burdens. So just be patient, you know. Sometimes it's it's harder for people to... to move through the lessons okay our greatest teacher is pain but even some people have a high tolerance for pain sad but true you know some people it's hard for people to walk away especially if you love deep like scorpios scorpios are very loyal and you know some of them they get stuck into certain situations you know and it's hard for them to let go because of how deeply invested they are but once they let go it's a wrap bro you're done you will never see this person again they will never talk to you never give you the day the light of day it'll be like they never knew you kind of like aries thing too aries will be like because that's probably mars energy <laughs> like you know but um planet of war what's this um you and your loved ones are safe people are noticing that you're focusing on spending time more time with the ones that you love with the people who actually make you feel safe the people who actually like you know want to give you love the people who actually help you heal help to guide you what is this you and your loved ones are safe or you could be manifesting new people two swords What's this Two of Swords about? Ten of Cups. You and your loved one. You have to make a decision. People are noticing that you're trying to make decisions about your happiness, your family, like your moves. I feel like you're very stuck and stagnant right now. And you're being called to um, trust your intuition. I know that's a side note, but like that's what's coming out right now. But people are definitely noticing that... Um, you know, you're trying to focus on, like, your loved ones and your happiness. And, you know, you have a decision to make. You have to, like, try to make sure that you choose yourself. And people are just noticing that, like... I don't know. Whatever was revealed to you, it, it kind of shocked you. I don't know. Yeah. Could have to do with family, love, or job. But whatever it is, it's like you you don't want to stress it anymore. No reality. Like, you're done with this situation. You're done with the burdens. You want to focus on healing, and people are noticing that. People are noticing that you're f choosing your peace. People are noticing that maybe you're getting more vulnerable. Again, like I said, and you're done with any players. You're done with any F shit. You're done with people who, you know... Don't reciprocate your energy. People are in and out. And I don't mean like in and out like, you know, with firm boundaries. I mean in and out like 
they come in and they use you or, you know, ill intentions, I guess you can say. But yeah, that's what I got for you, pile number two. I'm sorry for whatever it is that you're going through. Um, just know that, because I just saw this card, hold on. Expect powerful change. Powerful change is coming. Just keep focusing on your healing and keep asking yourself, what do you really want out of life? Oh, look, a new start is coming, okay? Stay positive, baby. I know that's not as easy as it sounds, but your life is changing. Regardless whether you want it to or not, it might be feel a little tough at first, but it's going to get better in the end. Okay. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What's going on, pal number three? <laughs> Last but never freaking least. Okay, whoa, whoa. Whoa! This is a new one. Anyway, so if you're new here, hit that subscribe down below and the little bell so you can notify each and every time that I post. If it resonates, you can like, you can comment. Stay tuned for free reading giveaways, coming information information on this <laughs> is coming out later this month but soon it will be coming okay you can win <laughs> let's get it popping so we're gonna get into the tarot and oracles afterwards but oh and if you want to book a personal my email is in the description box or you can message me through instagram whichever you feel fits better for you. Either way, I'm gonna need your email, so you might as well just email me. It's a lot quicker, you know. But we're gonna get your current energy first to see if this is your message. If it's not, if these don't resonate, then I don't know what to tell you, but they probably will. And if it does, you can still stick around for the message. So, bottom of the deck, it is safe for me to rest. All right, you've been on go. You've been on go mode, okay? And you might have been feeling like you're not going anywhere, you know? It's like, it's it's like, you know, when you're like doing mad stuff, but you're not doing, it's like, you're not doing stuff for you. It's like you're busy, but you're busy like helping everybody else, everyone else's life. And, um, you know, you're finally, or you're being called to rest, you know? You know you need to rest. You know you need to start like calling back your energy and maybe investing a little bit less time in going out or partying or, you know, maybe whatever it is for you. It's going to be different for everybody, but I do feel like, you know, there's a time for rest that's being called right now for you. I am already abundant beyond my measure. Ooh, so money is up on the rise for you or it's about to be. So expect that unexpected money could be coming. I release control of my plans to make way for my destiny okay you're being asked to release control maybe you're the type of person you need everything a specific way you could be a perfectionist or just really into control because you know maybe throughout your life you never had control and now that you have control of your life you're like i have to control every aspect of your life i get it believe me i get it but like when you're trying to manifest Control is the one thing that blocks your manifestations from what I've realized, you know. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep focusing on your goals, dreams, and aspirations. But also you need to focus on the spiritual side of it. I'm getting that card, balance, spirituality, and practicality. Some of y'all could be Pisces. But um, it's making me think, like, you guys need to, you know, focus on, you know, quieting your mind or your healing process or, you know, just self analyzation you know because your energy has been so focused on everyone around you whether it's lovers friends family you know your job just putting a lot of energy towards outside circumstances you need to call that energy back to you and that's what you're either about to do or you have been doing i will measure today by how fully present i am yeah you're either being called to or you are becoming more present either way this is an energy that is on the way you're going to be more present more focused you're going to be tapping into you know what you really want to be i am instead of i will you're gonna be like i am 
resting instead of I will rest but I have to do this first no I am resting I am creating I am healing it's like no more putting it on to tomorrow or next week you're getting shit done for you now and you're putting all the people's stuff you know the stuff that 444 you could be seeing 444 all the stuff that you know is not your responsibility to be working on right now you're putting that to the side so you can rest and focus on yourself it says i know my worth i do not settle for less yeah self-love self-worth is definitely this new energy that you are in or you're about to step into you're coming out of a tough time and you finally things are slowing down so you can rest and that you can you know figure out what really is worth your time because you're done settling you're done with the bullshit you don't want to entertain anything or anyone that's not going to serve you it says i am the guardian of my happiness okay and you need to protect your happiness okay you're going to be called to you know move away from you know your values say right now you're like oh i'm going hermit but then people are going to either try to like pull you out or make you feel guilty or make you feel obligated it is a test they will figure it out okay they will have somebody else to help them or they'll figure they'll figure it out on their own <laughs> they will figure it out on their own mercury stop playing with me okay and i am always co-creating with the universe yeah like you know, the, the thing is that when you rest and trust, that's when most of your manifestations come. I've had to learn that the hard way, okay? Because sometimes, like, it's one time I needed, um, I wasn't working and it was, like, during COVID, but I wasn't getting, um, like, in the beginning when you were getting, uh, unemployment i was like what is it even called i was getting unemployment and i was getting a good amount and then they had to shorten it because you know they like it was like i i reached my limit but i was still getting like some money but it was like not enough you know so i had to figure out like okay how am i gonna pay this bill and i didn't know i didn't know how it was gonna happen but i prayed and then i had to let go you know i didn't do anything i just let go and i was like you know what something's gonna happen a miracle's gonna happen i already tried so many different times like i was trying to be forceful i was trying to control the situation i think it was my phone bill and i was like trying to like hey i'm not gonna have this money just yet can you like extend it or something because like i need my phone to work or some shit like that and they was like um I'm trying to remember this was like in 2020 it's not that far but it feels far um <laughs> and then they was like no we can't da, 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 da. and i was like oh my god and then it was like i don't even remember how much i owed but it was a large amount and then all of a sudden the next day i got my payment but it wasn't my payment somebody must have messed up and they gave me the other payment and i was like god thank you thank you thank you so just know that like a miracle is gonna come but you're gonna have to release control okay that story was i guess relevant for some reason 747 you could be seen but yeah that message resonated in any way shape or form jesus you guys are deep as hell Let's get into it. What are people noticing about you? Pile. Three. What are people noticing about Paul? Three, please. What are people noticing about Paul? Three. What are people noticing about Paul? Three. one more thank you all right so we got saying something about your voice you're speaking your truth more okay every time i see this card it makes me think cutthroat okay but some of you guys could be making new songs listening to more music just feeling more confident in yourself or combative too you could be a little bit more argumentative we have change scorpio we have clarity libra we have magic alignment i love that we have transcend universal oneness and then we have act spirit bottom of the deck is memory some of you guys could be losing your memory that's only for some of you if it is then you'll know so don't take that and be like i'm not moving i don't want to fucking hear it okay it's not your message okay <laughs> sorry but i'm getting that some of y'all are real real vicious right now because the way i just said that that was a little you know 
hostile. <laughs> so, so people are noticing you're getting a little bit more hostile. Maybe you're a little more cranky. Maybe you're sleeping less, so you're tired, or you could be hangry. Okay, there's or or there's some outside influence that's causing you um, anger. Okay, <laughs> um, I feel like you're changing on all levels, though. Okay, you're leaving a chaotic lifestyle, a chaotic situation and you're focusing on balance you're focusing on figuring out who you can trust you're focusing on you know letting go of what no longer serves you and moving towards what does all right you're seeing through the bullshit and you're finally receiving clarity on like what you should do or what you want to do some of you guys are meant to be um musicians movie stars i heard <laughs> Nah, but, um, for real, because this says act, too, that's kind of funny, so, but I was, I was focusing on, like, the fact that Homeboy is, like, a superstar over here, he got fans, so some of y'all got fans, right, and you're seeing clearly, like, people support whatever this is, okay, maybe it could be, like, a song you made, or a video you posted, something you spoke your truth about, and people resonated with it, and people are, like, noticing, like, yo, you're speaking straight facts, or your music, your, <laughs> your voice excuse me is music to people's ears like a lot of people love your voice and people are noticing that like people are noticing your voice or maybe more people are talking about your voice or your accent or whatever or maybe you've been singing more because you're happy you know like you're just like la, da, da, da. <laughs> you just mean just more happy um but yeah you're definitely becoming more honest and people are noticing that and it's to the point where some of it is hurtful to people and some of it it's like, you know, what they needed to hear. This change makes me think you're definitely leaving behind certain people and you're changing up on people, but you know, you're transforming for the best. You're looking up. You're not looking back at your past anymore. You're like, uh, I don't want to be in this negative, low vibrational energy anymore. And I feel like some people are kind of mad that you're changing. Like, say um, you're setting a boundary. Like, hey, y'all, I can't go um, party with you guys on Friday anymore. I have to, you know, start going to this class or course I signed up for. And they're like, what the hell? Why would you sign? So you signed up for singing class. And then, you know, you got some people hating on that. Or like, I'm just getting that. You're making changes and people are hating on it. Like you're choosing. Okay. Like, like let's say you started going to the gym. And you're like, hey, y'all, I can't hang out. I got to go to the gym. Or I got to do this. Or I got to do that. Whatever it is insert your whatever you got to do there and then people are like looking at you like who who said you can change and i feel like you're getting blunt too so it's like you're like nah y'all i gotta do this this is for me and then when someone says like but why or they question you making a choice to better yourself you're speaking up about it you're like why are you questioning me or why are you trying to stop me from becoming better or whatever it is because i feel like it's different for all of you but i feel like you're speaking up you know if somebody is like throwing shade on something that you love like maybe you sing and then people would talk shit about you singing even though and it made you feel like you had a bad voice but now in reality you're starting to see you have a good voice so take that as it resonates, but I feel like you're getting clarity on certain things that need to change about either you speaking up or certain things that you're changing and then how people are reacting to the changes and you're receiving clarity about who really supports you, who rides for you. Okay, because you have a lot of fans, you have a lot of people who want you to win and you're going to start seeing that. And now the scale is going to be tipping in your favor and you're going to be the leader. Okay, rose quartz could be relevant for you. Um, I don't know what that's about. But yeah, people are also noticing maybe you've been playing more music, you've been blasting music, maybe in the shower or like just jamming in when you're driving in the car and stuff like that. But there's something about alignment. You're aligning yourself. Okay? Some of you guys got a, a hand tattoo. That's random. I know. But I feel like, oh, and some of y'all, you might got some new toys. That's random too. Maybe you've been using it instead of your hand. Oh, God. <laughs> Take it as it resonates. But, um, yeah. I feel like you're getting into alignment and you're starting to, you know, prioritize your health. People are noticing you're focusing on trying to improve your health, whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally. There's a lot of em emphasis on you improving your health and um, figuring out who's loyal to you and who needs to leave. OK, who can you trust and who can't you trust? You're, you're trying to weed out what what, you know, is meant for you and what isn't. 
but you're definitely focusing on a more magical type of vibe okay you could be being more open about magic or like people are just seeing you or this could also be people are noticing your energy feels magical like when you walk into a room people can feel you and not a lot of people have that impact you know sometimes people walk in and they can't feel you they don't notice you and others when when people walk in it's like everybody's looking like <gasps> And you don't even know why you're looking at everybody at this person, but it's their energy that draws you in, and that could be happening to you. And people are noticing that, like when you walk into places, say you walk into work, everybody's looking at you, and maybe your coworkers is looking like, why is everybody giving Pal Three so much attention? Like you're getting attention right now, you're getting recognized. Okay, what's this universal oneness? Yeah, you're closing out some type of karmic cycle, and people are noticing noticing it could be generational curses and this is like this could be people like you know in um your family or your friends or this is like more close people are noticing that you're transcending certain loops that you were stuck in certain things that you needed to end and could be certain generational curses you're transcending the pain okay you're no longer allowing things in your life the red flags okay and it, oh, look we have thrive Vridi, which is about like addictions too um sobriety uh even eating because we have i can which is food meditation food and key some of you guys are moving and people are noticing that or you know maybe you're talking about moving some of you guys got a new car new home what's this act spirit you're taking more action okay spending more time by yourself so that you can work on things that you maybe haven't been working on for a little while things that help you to love yourself things that help you to you know tap into the divine more this makes me think of the ace of wands new passionate beginning with yourself okay you know not including lovers or friends or family this is something that you're doing yourself and people are noticing about it noticing about it and noticing and um you could have told them about it for some of you like you told them like hey i'm starting to paint again or it's some type of creative venture or some type of endeavor that you put off for a little bit and now you're starting to do it and it makes you happy and it brings you success like you're good at this whatever this is i feel like you should um you know okay that's we're just gonna leave out the way it is invest into that because that could be a key to your abundance just know but abundance is coming to you regardless because we did get that in your current energy so shout out to you if it's not already here but yeah you're cutting cords because we have the wizard on the bottom of the deck <laughs> you're cutting cords with people who cause you to feel imbalanced in any way shape or form physically mentally emotionally spiritually but let's get your oracle cards and see, what are people noticing about pile three? I told you, manifesting. You're being more blunt and you're clear about what you want and you're telling people. And, you know, not that you're telling people what you want to manifest, but you're telling people how you want to live, how you want to, you know, be treated, etc. Bottom of the deck is wish wisely. Your wishes... Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desires and take practical steps towards your making your dreams come true. People are noticing that things that you have been wishing for for quite some time, you're you're taking action and you're you're making that shit happen. Like, let's say you've always wanted to lose weight and you know, you're either like, you know, booking a weight loss surgery, you're improving your eating habits, you're going to the gym more, you're doing whatever it is that you are figuring out like what works best for you cuz not everybody can lose weight the same way. We have moon energy, energy, surrender, you're surrendering to the ebb and flow. You're becoming less confused. Your emotions have been on the high and um, people are focusing, are noticing that you're focusing on like trying to find your peace of mind and, and you know, reassure yourself that you're not crazy. Like, it's okay to, to desire things. It's okay to be honest and set boundaries, you know, one step at a time. You're, you're making changes that are drastic and big, but one step at a time so it's not overwhelming. Beautiful. People are noticing this. Okay. 
We have inner child. You're becoming more playful. You're becoming more... You're doing things that tap you into your inner child and help you to feel lighter, more free, and um, just more joyful. This is really beautiful. Like, some of y'all are just more playful, and then some people feel that you're um, noticing that you're just, like, you're making more jokes. <laughs> we have stargazing. Yeah, you're focusing... You're focusing on trusting your intuition. You're focusing on the more spiritual side of life. You're focusing on, you know, just bettering yourself in a way. And, and, you know, maybe you've been staring at the sky more. Or some of you guys have a telescope, random. And you could be looking through it. But I definitely feel with this light energy, it's like you are shedding light on a lot of things that people need to be aware of people are noticing that you could be triggering a lot of people at this moment because of you you know kind of putting yourself first and and um you know tapping into your inner child and stuff like that or focusing on your goals and dreams that could be triggering people your light could be triggering people's demons but also it could be triggering like envy resentment anger because of the fact that you're doing things that a lot of people can't do right now and then it says journey. Some of you guys are going on a new journey or you are planning a um, vacation. Some of you guys could be pregnant. If not, then don't take that, okay? But that's some of y'all. Or some of you guys want to get pregnant and uh, you'll know if that's for you. But um, some of you guys have either been traveling or you've been talking about traveling or you're going to be traveling soon. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to go into the tarot and then we will close you guys. Ow! But yeah, I feel like either your wishes are coming true or things that you haven't been talking about or haven't been trying to manifest or have been trying to manifest, but like you haven't been like putting your energy into, you're starting to do that now and people are noticing like, oh wow, I forgot like this person wanted to do that or wanted to become an artist and now they're starting to paint again. That's really good. Good for them. We're like, wow, Pal 3 sold their first painting. I'm, re I'm really proud. But then some people are, like, kind of jealous that, like, you're out here, like, living your dream if you're doing that. Because some of you guys are and some of you guys aren't, you know. Some, some of you guys, it's just people are assuming certain things. And, you know, when you don't tell people what's going on, they can assume. And then they make themselves go crazy by their projections, which is wild, you know. Anyway, let's get some more messages what are people noticing about pile <laughs> that's way too much I'm not <laughs> sorry guys hold on okay what are people noticing about pile three Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, yeah, you started something new, Justice, Ten of Cups in reverse, Why am I hearing indoors, indoors? <laughs> so some of y'all people are noticing that you are hermit or you're just focusing on staying indoors or you're sick of being indoors and you've been going outdoors more. Got the page of wands. Yeah. Like I said, justice. Could be an air sign that is receiving karma for messing with you and people are noticing it because they noticed or these are people who know both of you and they're seeing that situation lol why do i keep saying lol <laughs> and what's this sun can i just get one what's this sun about Six of Swords, yeah. You guys came from a tough time. Ace of Wands in reverse. 
Okay, so there's been hella delays and you're slowly trying to rebalance and overcome that because of this unlucky situation that was kind of emotional for you. You know, you're processing that. You could be healing your heart. Um, but people are noticing that you're way more intuitive and you're really loving and caring, but only to those that you feel are worthy and that can reciprocate that energy, like I said earlier. But people are noticing that you have a new opportunity to um, put your creative ventures out. Some of y'all is definitely music, because li look at this. Or you've been like singing more, like I said, like there's this record player right here very interesting um but yeah there's some type of um thing that people are noticing about karma received towards somebody who was unjust to you and this could be an air sign that could have been gemini libra or aquarius but somebody who was an air sign is getting their karma but that doesn't mean that they have to be an air sign they could just be intellectual could be a male or in somebody who's in their masculine energy and uh this person could be somebody who talks really well or is a writer um, yeah, I feel like this person was a block, a block towards you getting better or a, a block towards your life getting better because they caused a lot of like commotion or, you know, it was a burden. But yeah, um, you know, you went through a period, people are noticing that you didn't see something clearly in regards to something that was making you unhappy, whether it was family, is something emotional. Uh, but it was definitely something that you didn't see clearly, okay? Because she has an umbrella, you know, you don't if you have an umbrella You only see the rain that's in front of you, but you don't see the rain that's falling down from the sky So it's like you saw the sadness, but you didn't see like what the root of the sadness was I guess you can say these are people who are analyzing you but in general regardless at the end of the day people are noticing that you know whatever this unhappiness was you didn't see the true cause of it or you didn't like It's just you didn't see or you didn't speak on it. Can I get more on that situation? Yeah, it could be a King of Wands energy. Male energy. Yeah, there was something that you didn't see that could bring you um, happiness. Um, and so a lot of people knew about it too. I feel like it, it was like some emotional start or ending. Like you either had to end something or start something and you didn't see that that was the answer to the problem like everybody knew like okay let's say that you have um you're in a toxic relationship or toxic friendship or toxic family member there's somebody toxic in your life and it's like everybody saw that this person like was not for you but you and um people are noticing that they're like noticing like this person continues to allow this person to be in their life but it's not making them happy it's not giving them clarity it doesn't align with them it's messing with their emotions um but some people are noticing that you're moving away from that and you're choosing your happiness you're getting more honest you receive some type of clarity that you needed or it's like you're facing yourself you had to face yourself as to why you kept holding on to the situation see the two faces <laughs> um maybe this person was two-faced doesn't matter at the end of the day there's something that you you're finally seeing and um you're moving away from it and you're starting to heal because this lady is a peacock right so i feel like you know this person did not allow you to be they tried to change you and that you know you 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 accepted that but a lot of people are like i like you the way you are why are you trying to change for somebody who isn't making you happy or isn't trying to change for you it's not reciprocated energy like let's change together Let, let's change together together forever <laughs> this purpose this person was like we gonna we're gonna be together forever but you're gonna do what i say and um that's that you know we're gonna move on my terms and that's that and you know you still kept up with it but at the end of the day it was not making you happy people didn't understand it and now you finally faced up to it like you know I'm choosing my happiness, I'm healing, and I'm accepting who I am, my unique self, and I know that somebody else or other friends or the family like is gonna mess with that. Okay. Holy crap, that was that was deep and heavy. Why was these readings so deep? <laughs> anyway, I love y'all. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you whoa, on the next one. Bye.